So you could probably put this in the file of, you probably could see this coming. You didn't know if it was going to happen right here, right now. But at some point down the road, it was probably destined to, after about, what, six years together, John Cena and Nikki Bella have called it quitskies. They are no longer a couple. Does that really, truly surprise anybody? Now, I know we're talking about professional wrestling and the different levels of creepiness that fans can have. There are people that are probably crying about this. There are probably people that are really moved and upset by this. And all I've got to say is get over it. And all this coming from John Cena and Nikki Bella and then these fans too talking about, oh, respect their privacy. Respect their privacy, my ass. Give me a break. If you choose to try and profit off of your relationship and put it in the public eye to the level and degree that John Cena and Nikki Bella did, that it is only fair game to talk about it once things go south in Kaputskis. That is not disrespectful. They put that stuff out there. They put that out there for public consumption and into the public domain to try and profit from it and did profit from it. But we can't sit there and talk about it? Give me a break. And as far as this whole thing, just from the outside looking in, I know there's talk about it was Nikki Bella's, the one that ended it, and while it hurts her, she did what she felt like she had to do, but John Cena is a mess. Give me a freaking break. Are you serious? Like, who the hell couldn't see that this potentially would end up bad down the road? This is one of these examples to me of both people know that at some point in time, this is destined to go south. This is destined to fail. But for whatever reason, they choose to fight against the logic, screaming at them and smacking them in the face and try to plow through it because they think they know better. And ultimately, they don't. Like, from John Cena's standpoint, you knew Nikki Bella was looking for a husband. She was looking to be a wifey. She wanted to have babies. She wanted to have a family. And you knew damn good and well you had no intention of ever wanting to do that. And that is fine. But be man enough from the very beginning to sit there and say, no matter what happens, this is never going to happen. And you can sit there and say, well, he kind of did, but he kind of didn't. Because he kept leading her on, leading her on. And all these years later, eventually, he finally did damn propose to her. So at some point in time, even though, yes, she should have known better, because she should have known from Jump Street when he sat there and made it very clear, kind of, sort of. Eventually, when he's put the ring on the finger, she would have enough right to think that, hey, maybe I've changed his mind. Maybe he is ready. Well, ding dong, dumb dick, he wasn't. And shame on John Cena for sitting there and stringing her ass along and wasting six years of his, her damn life. And that's exactly what he did. That's exactly what he did. And you want to talk about a likable guy and this and that. He already knew his first marriage went to shit. That didn't end well. He knew he didn't want to dive right back into another one. And based off of where his life and his career was going... It's always about him. It always has been about him. It always will be about him. Why the hell would he want to put somebody else through that? And again, that's okay. What is not okay is manipulating somebody and lying to somebody and giving them false pretenses and false hope, knowing that you never intend to fully cash in. And as far as Nikki Bella goes, I don't feel much sympathy for her ass either. You can sit there and say, like I just did, that he kind of gave her false pretenses and false hope. But she also constructed her own bubble of bullshit all in the name of profit. Don't tell me that she didn't utilize John Cena, his name, likeness, to profit significantly. Total divas, total bellas, the way WWE would push her when she's around. Give me a freaking break. All this stuff really started to happen for the Bella Twins and specifically Nikki Wynn. Not just when she got the boo job, but when she started dinking around with John Cena. So don't expect a big <laughs> sympathy kick from me. You knew what you were doing. You're probably bleeding his ass dry too. I can only imagine. 
you use that relationship to profit from. And you know what? Bitch, you might as well have got it in where you fit in. It's whatever. But you shouldn't expect people like me to feel a whole lot of sympathy for you because while not necessarily all the way gold digger, you manipulated yourself. You took advantage yourself. And I don't see how anybody can deny that. That's clearly what happened here. And it's ridiculous to me when people say respect their privacy on something like this. Oh, but it's okay when they do all this dumb crap on Total Divas and Total Bellas and we had to sit through for a freaking marriage proposal last year at damn WrestleMania and these idiots couldn't even make it to the freaking ceremony? Like all of a sudden now, Nikki Bella thinks it's a bad idea to marry Cena and realizes where this is going after six years it took you this long? And now John Cena's a mess? You know why John Cena's a mess? He wanted that guaranteed pussy to pound on call whenever he frickin' wanted it. He understood some of the optics that he looked better, that he had her by his side, and this and that, and he's a settled down guy and all this other hot garbage. People need to stop living in the clouds when it comes to Cena and thinking that he is ultimately this truly great guy. He does good things. Make a wish, other charitable stuff, but that does not fundamentally take away from the fact we've known that he's always kind of been a selfish son of a bitch. And ultimately, that's not the worst thing in the world. You do good things, but you are also kind of heelish. If anything, this should make Cena the ultimate heel. He strung this heifer along for six damn years. But ultimately, in this world, you got to take care of yourself first and foremost. And I wouldn't be surprised if the whole thing about Cena being a mess is a freaking work in and of itself. Why the hell would he care? I'm just saying. So you can miss me with all of that. Give me, give them privacy garbage. They've put it out there in the public eye for years. They have both profited nicely from it. But now we can't sit there and question. We can't sit there and criticize. We can't sit there and talk about it. No, that's not how this works. If you're going to put it out there, then it is only fair that people can criticize from the outside looking in. That's the way this works. Can't profit from it and then run from it when it doesn't go well. And hopefully this serves as a lesson for people out there in general. Don't be in situations you're not happy in. Don't be in situations where you know damn good and well in your heart and in the back of your mind, this is not going to end well. Don't extend it another six months, another year, or in this case, six damn years. If you know that it's ultimately going to happen, the quicker you get out, the better it is truly for all parties involved. Because all you're doing is wasting time and friction. And what do you have to show for? Well, in the case of John Cena and Nikki Bella, they profited off of it, so they made some money. So I have absolutely no sympathy for them.